Welcome to Lala's World. Today we're going to go over three ways to make a thumbnail for YouTube in 2017 for free. If your account is verified or you have live streaming access, you have the ability to upload custom thumbnails for your videos. You can also change your current video thumbnails if you create a new design and you want to upload that new design. Things to keep in mind when creating a thumbnail are that your image should be as large as possible so people can see it when they're scrolling. The resolution should be 1280 by 720 with a minimum of 640 pixels. The format should be JPG, GIF, BMP, or PNG. The entire file should be under 2 megabytes, which is the limit, and your aspect ratio should be 16.9 what is most used in YouTube players and previews. I'm going to take one of my thumbnails and make it into three different programs to give you a basic idea of what to do. They won't be the exact same, but they'll be similar. PowerPoint or Google Slides. Today, I'm going to be using Google Slides. The first thing I do is think about my title. I find a free image to summarize this. There are plenty of free image sites such as pixabay.com, which I will link down below, or you can simply go to Google and then make sure you use labeled for reuse. In changing these settings, make sure that you don't run into copyright issues by using a picture that wasn't intended to be used by anyone else. For this thumbnail, my video is basically about budget travel. So I'm going to search for budget travel. Once you find the image labeled for reuse, you click it once to make it larger, then right click to copy and paste it into PowerPoint. Or if you prefer to save the image, go ahead and do that. I would recommend saving it so if you need to remake the image for any other social media or redo something, you won't have to search so hard. Once you have the image, go ahead and either paste or insert the picture. Next, we're going to add the text. Go ahead and size your image to fit and then click the insert text box and drag it across the screen and type your text. Keep it short because people are scrolling. Then go ahead and set the color, outline, size, background, transparency, glow, etc. Unless you have a white or black background, you need something to make your text stand out very clear. You can add other pictures, arrows, words, background behind the text as you want. And when you have it to your liking, go ahead and save the file as JPG or PNG. You now have a picture file you can upload to the YouTube thumbnail area. If you notice any of the pictures or words cut out, you can go back to your Google Slides and adjust it accordingly. Paint. Go ahead and open up the standard paint program that comes with the computer. We can make the same or similar thumbnail. Go ahead and click paste and then paste from and go to the area you saved your picture and click on it. Remember, the resolution should be 1280 by 720. This is going to be in your drawing size area. You can either drag the bar at the bottom corner or in the Home tab, click Resize, Pixels, uncheck the box that says Maintain Aspect Ratio, and then enter 1280, 720. Once it is set under View, you can zoom in or out to see the entire screen. Once the picture is pasted, drag it to fit the screen, being careful not to lose the quality as you drag it and resize it. Drag it until it fits so it doesn't look skewed. And if you have to, once you have it where you want it, you can add text or more pictures. To add text, go ahead and click the text tab and then type your text, resize it, color it, and format it the way you want. Using paint, you don't have as many text options, but you can still make a nice thumbnail. And once you're finished, save it as a JPG. Canva. Canva is a free website that has a variety of pre-made thumbnails you can go through to customize. To start, 
go to canva.com you can create an account or log in i already have an account so i'll log in at the top right hand corner click the plus sign scroll all the way down to social media and email headers and click youtube thumbnail from here you can search the layouts and choose one that you like then edit it to your liking if I were going to make the similar thumbnail as before, I would start by uploading my picture and then adding it to the design area. Once you've added it to the design area, drag it to fit. You can now add text. Canva has a variety of styles to choose from that look great, or you can format your own. After you get the size and color and style of font you want, you can take it a step further and add color borders. First, go to Shapes. And then once you have your shape, choose the square and resize it and color it to your liking. Once you're done, go ahead and change the title to the top of what you'd like it to be and download it as the recommended format. You can also just play around with Canva to see what they have to offer. Um, there's just so much you can play with to see what works for you and your thumbnails. This is just a basic how-to to show you, you know, this is what Canva is and this is what you can do. And again, as far as the rest of the video, same thing with the paint and the, the Google Drive. You could play around with it and play with the fonts, play with the pictures, and go from there. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And be sure to subscribe and like and share this video. Again, thanks for watching.